By this point, you should be very comfortable declining nouns of the second declension that are masculine or feminine. And you'll remember that the only difference between a masculine and a feminine noun in uh, the second declension is going to be as article. So the endings aren't going to make a difference. Uh, this is not the case for neuter nouns. So we're going to take a look at how to decline neuter nouns, uh, and I'll give you two really brief rules uh, that will follow for most of them, or for, for all neuter nouns, rather. Uh, the first rule is that the nominative, so this is rule number one, the nominative is the same as the accusative. Okay, so the nominative case looks identical to the accusative. That's the same. That that works for both the singular and the plural. So the nominative singular is the same as the accusative singular, and the nominative plural is the same as the accusative plural. The second rule is that the nominative plural ends in an alpha. Okay. Uh, now. These two rules together will, will cover uh, pretty much the main differences between the masculine and feminine and the neuter ones. Let's take a look at how we decline second declension neuters. Right. Uh, to doron is our, is our paradigm here, gift. You'll notice doron doru, okay, so it is. This indicates, yes, it's second declension. There are two things that say this is neuter, though. The first is uh, that the nominative ends in own. Right, instead of what you're used to for the masculine and feminines, which is os, got own, and then the second is the article to. Remember, the articles are, are for the neuters are different uh, from the masculine and feminine. So you should also have the articles uh, well memorized by this point. So let's take a look at uh, declining this second declension neuter, todoron. So todoron, tudoru, todoro, todoron. There's our singulars, and the things that you notice are the genitive and the dative are identical to the masculine and feminine, all right, in particular the masculine because the article is the same, uh, but that following my rule number one, the accusative is the same as the nominative. Todoron, tudoru, todoro, todoron, and then in the plural, Tadora, ah, notice the alpha, right, rule number two. Tondoron, all right, tois dorois. So our genitive and dative are the same as our regular uh, second declension masculines. And then the accusative, tadora. And that follows the rule number one, that the accusative is the same as the nominative. So if you remember those two main rules, uh, and you already know your second declension masculines, you should be very confident declining second declension neuter nouns.